Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Disney. Disney appears to have really been digging themselves into a deeper and deeper hole over the question of sex education and sex modification, specifically that involving children. So much so that a recent Wall Street Journal op-ed piece questioned whether Disney is cutting off the hands that feed it, namely by recent decisions by the company that have directly insulted the parents and grandparents of their customer base, the people who actually foot the bill, the increasingly outrageous bill for Disney parks and products. It has been the company's vocal opposition to the so-called don't say gay bill, which only prohibits classroom instruction about sexuality or gender with small children that's really ticked off a lot of parents. And then we had the announcement that Disney will ditch gender specific language altogether so that when parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles take their children to the park, they won't be recognized as little boys and girls anymore. Now, during a leaked video of an internal virtual conference on the company's Reimagine Tomorrow initiative, a Disney official revealed how the company plans to go one step further by assisting their families, families of their employees, to obtain gender affirming procedures. And by families, he doesn't simply mean to refer to adults in those families, but also to the children as well coming up with guides on how to change your photo, information about pronouns, working with our benefits team to give information about gender affirmation procedures, both for our employees who are transitioning and trans, but also our employees who have kids who are transitioning. Keep in mind, children lack the capacity to consent to sex in this country, but somehow, and for some reason, there are states that allow adults to consent on their behalf to changing their sex. Such procedures typically include puberty blockers, breast removal, and genital reassignment surgery. Not all states are on board with this. Alabama's Governor Kay Ivey recently signed a Senate bill, Senate Bill 184, which is also known as the Alabama Vulnerable Children Protection Act, which makes it a felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison for a doctor to prescribe puberty blockers or hormones or perform surgery to aid in the gender transition of people under age 19. Since the video went viral, the Walt Disney Company has yet to release an official statement. However, one Disney heir, Roy P. Disney, grandson of the company's co-founder, great nephew to Walt, did issue a statement affirming the identity of his son, Charlie Cora Disney and this person's identity as transgender. Specifically, Charlie works as a high school biology teacher and opposes the Florida bill, which would prevent him from including details about his transformation as part of the curriculum. It seems at this point that Disney has dug too deep and made their position more than professional, but instead personal. And worse yet, it's a decision that appears to land them on the opposite side of most parents who make up the bulk of their financial base. By adopting a company policy that supports something arguably contrary to a substantial amount of medical information, the science, so to speak, and common sense in the eyes of most, the question is, will this new direction that Disney corporate executives and the Disney family have doubled down on, will the inevitable consequences financially prove irreversible? I think they just might as families begin to seek out alternatives elsewhere. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.